You're looking live. Bobby Jindal is now speaking at the NRA convention in Nashville, Tennessee. He is the first potential Republican candidate to take the podium today and speak to the 70,000 plus that are gathered. Let's go live. I actually liked the First Amendment. Do you remember those days? Now, maybe they haven't read the First Amendment lately. Maybe they're too busy dealing with record low movie attendance instead of worrying about the First Amendment. Now, I know you didn't come here expecting to hear a speech on religious liberty. But my friends, if these large forces, if they can conspire to crush the First Amendment, it won't be long before they join forces again to come after the Second Amendment. Michael Bloomberg, he is already trying. He is pressuring grocery stores and restaurants to ban guns. Next, he's going to try to bully sporting goods stores to quit selling guns and ammunition. Bloomberg knows he can't beat Chris Cox, he can't beat Wayne LaPierre, he can't beat the men and women of the NRA in the elections. So they're trying to beat us in the boardrooms of corporate America. When you read the Constitution, there are only 72 words in these first two amendments. But in those 72 words, there is one essential God-given truth that defines us as a country in America. The people's voice trumps the government's voice. In America, the politicians take orders from the people, not the other way around. In America, the people rule, and that should never, ever change. Those first two amendments, they've got no gray area. It starts, and I quote, Congress will make no law restricting the freedom of speech or religion. Did you hear that, President Obama? No law. No law. <laughs> now, if they had known President Obama was coming, the Founding Fathers might have put executive orders in there as well when they were talking about that. <laughs> the Second Amendment ends by saying that our right to keep and bear guns, and I quote again, shall not be infringed shall not. You've been listening live to Bobby Jindal. He is at the NRA convention in Nashville, Tennessee. They have a long list of speakers today. Let's take a couple of minutes and just talk some politics. Our guest syndicated radio talker and political strategist, Josh Bernstein. Josh, good to talk to you again. Great to be with you again. Josh, real quick, we've only got a couple of minutes here, but there's been already some news here. Uh, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush will defend his state's Stand Your Ground law in his speech at the NRA today. He's going to take a lot of heat for that. But again, he is speaking exactly to the right demographic. Well, obviously, yes, he is speaking to the right demographic. And what uh, Governor Jindal has just said is absolutely correct. Uh, you have to be an absolutist when it comes to the Second Amendment, because as I've said on the air, and other people know, that uh, the Second Amendment is the most important amendment. Without the Second, you don't really have the other amendments, because again, the only reason government deals with us with reason is because of the fact that over 80 million Americans are armed. If we were ever disarmed, the government would have no reason to deal with us with anything but force. Josh, unfortunately, I've got about a minute left because we're still watching what happens there. So I wanted to get your opinion on this. Hillary Clinton is going to announce on Sunday that she is officially going to become a candidate for president. In your opinion, what is it that the Republicans need to do in order to go after her and make it stick in the general election cycle? Well, first off, the fact that she's actually considering and still running for president goes to show you the ineptitude at the fact of the House leadership and the Republicans to not be able to get to the bottom of the Benghazi story. I would certainly want to keep the Benghazi story out there. Four Americans died. They were dragged to their deaths. It was a horrific event. Now you have the email scandal and everything else. So she's literally launching in the middle of chaos which, again, we all know that uh, O'Malley is planning on running to uh, go against her. So the Republicans need to keep with the theme of out with the old and in with the new. And uh, I would be running those 3 a.m. ads where she didn't come to the call. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to because everything is now fair game when you run for president. Josh, unfortunately, we're all out of time. We have to move on. But, hey, listen, thank you very much for standing by and joining us. We will speak again. We appreciate your time.
My pleasure. All right, take care. We are still monitoring what's happening because at the NRA convention in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal is speaking right now. He is just the first of so many others who are scheduled to be there, including Jeb Bush, who I mentioned a few moments ago. But let's dig a little bit more into what we hope to hear and what we have heard from this point. Well, the gentleman has been around the NRA for a lot of years. Plus, the political punching bag comes up later on. It's always fun to laugh at Washington. Midpoint continues.